Hello, hello, and welcome. This week, I'm gonna be doing a much more natural, kind of glowy look. So here's the look I'm doing for uh, this video today. One of you guys sent me a look that you wanted to see me do, and this is natural, dewy look. I have to say, I was fully prepared going into this look to be like, okay, here's the look. I'm gonna take some pictures, and now I'm gonna throw on a winged eyeliner because I don't do natural and understated. And I don't know whether it's that I underestimated this look or whether it's that I'm heavier handed <laughs> and it just turned out more dramatic um, because that's just who I am. But I love it and I don't feel any need for any eyeliner. I'm gonna have to really work on my highlighting and contour skills because there's a lot of that in this look. So let's get started. As usual, I'm gonna start with my Mary Kay Matte Wear Foundation. In my other video that I'm gonna film next, I'm gonna be talking about person first language versus identity first language, especially with regards to autism. And one of the biggest voices out there about that is Paige Laley. I don't know if I'm saying her last name right. She's an autistic woman on TikTok who is very vocal about those issues and she has a look that she does that has a lot of glow to it. So um, between that and getting a request for it, I was like, let's do something more natural. I hope to God that there are never any actual beauty gurus watching this. Um, if you are an actual beauty guru watching this, just, just click on to another video. Like, I'm sorry, I'm just doing me and chatting. Is it James Charles, is that his name? It's not me. So uh, yeah, doing my uh, under eye concealer slash highlights here. I know some of y'all are probably wondering, how the hell is she going to get a dewy, glowy look with a matte wear foundation? I don't know. We'll find out together. Maybe that was too much. Looking at a picture, making it up as I go. <laughs> what do you think? I think we move on. Normally at this point, I would do a powder foundation over this, but since that is going to undo all of the hard work I just did with that concealer, I'm gonna do just a translucent powder. So let me grab that. Okay, so I got my Mary Kay translucent powder here. If I ever forget to show y'all a product, just go back in one of my other videos because I use the same stuff all the time. This is, this is just makeup for average people working with what they've got. I saw this thing recently, people are baking their faces. I don't know what that means or how they're, they're doing it. So I'm not gonna try it. There the dogs go again. So I'm just gonna uh, brush these bad boys out. And now we're gonna try to fix their shape with my crappy Chinese Amazon brow pen. One of you did suggest a new one to me, so uh, I looked at it, it looks great. I'm getting that. Let you know when that happens. I think for this look, everybody that I saw that kind of did this look, their brows were much more understated. But I just don't have understatable brows. They're just what they are. They can be understated. I don't know how to do it. Okay, it looks like she used a lot of like really matte shadows in this, which I don't have a lot of. So I'm gonna go dig through the fiance's makeup and see what she's got. Come on down. One of the many joys of being in a same-sex relationship, y'all. Double the makeup. lay out a bunch of these boys in front of me and uh, stare at them while I put down some concealer on my eyelids to prep everything and just hope that I have some sort of epiphany about how to make these work. I'm going to start with this nice neutral brownish color. I think it's called Sienna. I know my stuff's so dirty y'all. Just don't judge me. So I'm just going to Start right here at the edge of my brow bone. Oh, he's darker than I thought. That's why we blend. I like 
actually think I'm the queen of blending and editing. I can only think of a handful of times in my life where I have just fully whipped out the eye makeup remover and scrapped it. I also learned recently, according to James Charles, apparently you're not supposed to do shimmer in your crease. Apparently, not only are you not supposed to do that, it's highly offensive to do that, which was new information to little old me. Us millennials, we're out when it comes to makeup. Gen Z is in and we don't know what we're doing. Come along with me on this, on this journey. So next up, I stole this one from the fiance. This is a very orangey color. So let's see, I'll take a little, little tiny brush. I'm just kind of doing it along this edge of the sienna that I did there. A big sideways stripe through my eye. I'm gonna do a little bit right up there at the top of it too. And my rule is, if you do something totally wacky that looks absolutely terrible and wrong, just do it the same on the other eye. That way when you fix it, you can fix it the same way on both eyes. Okay, I stand by this. I stand by this, I think it looks good. This guy's still wild over here, I don't know what's happening to him, but figure him out in a minute. Actually, I'm gonna take a little bit of sienna back in him and darken him up in that one spot and see if that fixes it. We'll go with it, we'll go with it. It's all gonna to come together. And for my next trick, any spice here. I did him just like on the inside part of my lid, not necessarily the corner, but the inside part of my lid. And I like him on my brow bone too. that. I forgot to do my cheek pile, y'all. Is, is this kind of what the, the baking is that the, the kids are doing these days? This is, a, this is a hack that I like to do. I'm going to take that um, lighter color that I do on my brow bone and my inner lid here very lightly on this big fluffy brush. And I'm just kind of sweep over everything just to tone it all down and blend it together. The keys to this look is like a really bright, shiny pop in the corner of the eye. So I'm gonna take my concealer again. Okay, so I'm gonna take this boy Crystalline here. I think that that's gonna be bright enough. Is that too much? I think it looks good. I'm also gonna take a little bit of it and do it not all the way across my brow bone, but just kind of over here. Okay, we're twerking, we're twerking. All right, let's brush the powder off. Once I get mascara in here, this will all make sense. All right, okay. I get it, I get it. Oh, how did you get up there, sir? Sort of dark spot up here. There we go. There we go. Rule number one: make mistakes because you're a human, and your makeup's never gonna be perfect. It's just not how it works. Sorry. I'm gonna go back and look at that picture real quick and see if I can finish up here with some highlight, contour, and blush. All right, high key steel in the fiance's contour palette. Uh, sorry, babe. Love you. I'm gonna use. Is it? It's a Smashbox. It doesn't tell me which one is. Okay, yeah, so this is contour and this is bronzer. Okay, I get it, I get it. And it says I'm supposed to bronze here, but contour here. I, wasn't, I was never really sure what the what the difference there was. So there's a lot more contouring here than I normally do. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. Oh, that's dark. That's okay, that's okay. And what was my rule? If you mess something up, do it the same on the other side then the fix will look the same too. Y'all, what have I done? <laughs> just hang in there, have faith, it'll, it'll get fixed. Right now, we're just looking for the same amount of messed up on both sides. That's all we're looking for. It's fine, we're really gonna fix it. Not sure how yet. We'll fix it. I think the easiest solution here is just to take some of my powder foundation 
and just trip, trip, trip right over it. That's good. See, look, that looks like I planned it. Okay, now I'm gonna contour around my hairline. I'm gonna go easier on it this time. Just barely tap the brush in there and tap it off really good. Obviously likes it, so that's gotta be it's gotta be good, right? I didn't really do blush here because I did so much contouring, but I'm gonna do this kind of uh, I guess kind of like a matte, a little bit of a pinky too. Has sunny spice. Oh yeah, that needed that. That looks good. I gotta tell you, this stuff is great. Like, good job. Essence Light Up Your Face Luminizer Palette. But I, I don't know about the other two on the side, but I really like the center one. Okay, I'm gonna make a bold move, y'all. All of these examples of this similar look that I'm looking at have some spots that are just like bright. So I'm gonna take the this color that I used here, crystalline. I'm just gonna put a little bit on the tip of my nose there. And then a little bit. great on camera but like to me in person it looks very wild I have to be real I was hesitant about this look because it didn't seem bold enough for me but now I'm out here like whoa so now for the lip neutral lip is not my specialty um but we'll see what we got this look is typically more of like a peachy lip and that like an apricot -y. and that just tends to not look great on me um, but I do have this always apricot Mary Kay that I'm gonna attempt. And that's the thing about lipstick, it's super easy to wipe off and try again if you hate it. So it's uh it's good. It's good. I'm gonna take a, a snapshot of this and wipe it off and try another one and see. Now I'm gonna try this retro rose. Also by Mary Kay. Oh, that's a really good one too. I think this one might be a, a more fall. Let's take a snapshot of that. And compare the two and see what I think. Yeah, it's definitely this one for me. I'm serving you so much Grace Adler realness. Washing thing up, not, not doing that again. 